What's it like staying at the Golden Nugget in Las Vegas in 2023? Find out next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the Las Vegas series. Today, we are here in downtown Las Vegas at the Golden Nugget, seeing what it's like to stay here in 2023. We're gonna show you the famous pool with the shark tank. We're gonna go over to some of the restaurants, show a few of their fine dining options, give you a nice little room tour of what they have here, and go around Fremont Street a little bit. All right, guys, let's get on with the hotel tour. Golden Nugget. First caveat, $33 if you want to check in early. It's about 12.30, check-in is at three. They don't do early check-in, unlike the Sahara did, and I was able to get in like around one o'clock. You're gonna have to spend 33 bucks for early check-in. I hate those early check-in. They're just trying to get more money out of you. Check this out, the world's largest golden nugget, the Hand of Faith Nugget. That's really cool. One of the corners here of the casino, they do have their convenience store called Essentials. If you have a sweet tooth, by registration, they have a place here called the Chocolate Box. It's not open right now, but they have candies and they even have Dryer's ice cream in there. Want some fine dining? They have Vic and Anthony's Steakhouse here. Probably open in the afternoon. And there's a picture of Vic and Anthony in 1955 in Gavelston, Texas. And there's a list of their menu. You know it's pricey when they don't put the prices of stuff on the menu. Right next to registration is their box office and it looks like they have a few shows. Tommy James and the Shondells and the Grand Funk Railroad come in on March 3rd. Right by their famous pool is a nice little bar here. A couple TVs and a bunch of cocktails. Now guests get free entry to the pool but you have to pay a fee to get in if you're not a guest. And this hallway will take you towards the Carson Tower and the name of the bar is the tank HTO bar the pool at the golden nugget and this is actually a fancy looking claim jumper so you can have your meatloaf and their chocolate cake that they have over here this is the Cadillac Mexican kitchen and tequila bar tons of TVs a bunch of tequila on display so if you're in a mood for some Mexican food and tequila right in front of the parking lot you can go upstairs to the conference centers the golden nugget conference center but the uber and lyft pickup is right over this way as well and guests get free parking over here I want to go shopping. They have a place here called Style and Trend. They have some men's clothes, women's clothes, jewelry, and Gucci watches are 25% off. This place is closed right now, but it's called The Grotto. And they're also sneaking in slot machines here at this part of the casino at the entrance, right next to the Starbucks. The line's not bad right now. It's about 12.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> this area here is the entrance to the Carson Tower floor. And they have another Essentials Hotel convenience store right here, right next to, get this, a Chick-fil-A, if that's what you're into. I'm not a big Chick-fil-A fan. I think it's kind of dry. So it looks like each tower has a convenience store. This is called the Signature Shop at the Rush Tower where you can get some beer, wine, liquor, and amenities. This looks like their more luxurious tower. And they have a huge fish tank here. I'm guessing there's a bar on the other side. It's called Chart House. They even have a place called De Oro Jewelry and Timepiece. Right next to 1946 apparel and accessories. In the mood for some Asian food, they have a place called Red Noodles, Asian Cuisine, and Sushi. Looks like there's a slot tournament going on right in front of this place called the grand people are lined up waiting to get started upstairs they have a place called troy liquor bar right up the stairwell right here it's not open right now it's about 12 30 in the afternoon on a tuesday that's why and fremont street is just right out here troy liquor bar actually has a really nice balcony overlooking the entrance of circa and right outside golden nugget they have a stage bar you can pick up your daiquiris beers and liquor hi jk shooters if you're liking this video please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing because 78 percent of you are not subscribed yet to the channel and we're trying to get to 100,000 in 2023. So please like the video. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Back to the hotel tour of the Golden Nugget. They also have a Starbucks with an outdoor patio where you can sit and sip your coffee. So there's more than one Starbucks location here at Golden Nugget. Over here in the casino, they have a video poker bar that's pretty long. You can get your beers and liquor here as well. And a lot of table games. This is a pretty decent sized casino for downtown Las Vegas. Over on this corner, you got your race and sports book. Right next to a very small place called The Grill. This lounge 
challenge called Rush. Pretty sweet, everything's closed right now because it's early. This area up against Fremont Street is bar 46 with this uh, white luminescence here. Tons of bars here at Fremont. Not a Niner fan, but bang, bang, Niner gang colors up here. I know all y'all's watching me are Niner fans, so shout out to y'all. Hey, they do have an old school poker room over here, right next to this old school bar. Through this exit here, they have pretty cool doors. They have an old gentleman with his tail coat on and an old school dress. Looks like they're uh, going to a ball in the Wild West. So there is a spa tower and salon over here. You can get a serenity massage for 159 bucks. There's another steakhouse here called Saltgrass Steakhouse. Steaks, ribs, chops, poultry, and seafood. Check out this bull right here. That's huge. This restaurant actually expands over here towards the pool. If you're here in the evening, you get a nice view of the tank at the pool, which you've seen me go down this slide before on uh, Norma Ellie's Best Pools video part two. I'm gonna link it down below so you can check it out. The name of their rewards card here is called 24K Select. So if you wanna sign up for it, you can use it at all these other locations. St. Charles, Biloxi, Mississippi, Laughlin, Nevada, Las Vegas, and Atlantic City. So they do have the key tap, and I'm floor 21, so second to last floor, just like my last place at Sahara. What I do like is how they hide the ice machine within the walls and cover it with like this little door here and the vending machine too, so it looks a little more clean. Obviously, I always get the no smoking floor, and we're in floor 21. Can you do something for me? Can I get a little rich flex for me? Or come all the way back here. So there's like a TikToker here at Golden Nugget. Oh, I'm trying to stalk her right now, so we're gonna go down. Oh, I see a sign for Chick fil A. Hey, I'm Are you filming right now? Mommy said to stalk you. Don't look at my right eye. It's literally so. In Do you see this? Do you see how inflamed it is? It's not that bad. It's pretty bad. I see Mommy Hilly across the way. I think she's she sees us. She's the same size as she, the ballers. She's the same size. Oh, she did wait until it turned green. Oh, yeah, she doesn't play. Norma Jelly does not jaywalk. No, no, no. You better not. She saw us already, see? <laughs> Stream, you don't wear that color. This is what? that. You did. This is Lila. You know, whatever that. It's not cuts, my dad. <laughs> Look at this, we're at ABC stores. So apparently, I've been doing this for two years. I've been buying cans from here and drinking the cans. <laughs> Norma, I've been live streaming. I don't read this crap. And I always buy this truly extra here. That's my drink. That's my drink. What the hell, man? Listen to the wind right now. It is howling. It's about 10.30 in the morning and the pool isn't open yet, unfortunately. I really wanted to show you guys the outside and the second floor. They have the H2O bar here, but the beautiful slide. I'm gonna ask Norma if I can use footage from the time we went here on her pool video of me going down the slide because uh, I wanna show you some footage because it's a really cool experience going through that see-through slide and seeing all the fish and the sharks over there. You guys ever watch Norma's channel? She never does one take. She's making me get back on this slide again. Woo! That wasn't bad actually. I like that type of stuff. If you're a hotel guest, you can get in, but unfortunately, there's a little thing. You check out at 11, you can't get into the pool because it's not open yet. So hotel guests are free, but if you're not a hotel guest, you can pay. It's about like 20 to $30 to get in, and they do have uh, blackjack and table games out there, and this is really a nice pool. This is another reason why I'd like to stay here during the summer. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? <laughs> nice to meet you. How's it? Ray and Char from Oahu, Hawaii. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks, Bye. guys. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Catch you later. Thank you. Good, Good luck you. on your tournament. Yep. Submitted successfully. Nice. Okay. All right. Check this out, guys. They have the cardio room here. About five treadmills. You have a few stairmasters, a few treadmills, and you're overlooking the pool. Look at this uh, view here, and a couple of TVs. Nice view. 
of an empty pool. And they do ask you to like sterilize and everything and I do that anyways in the regular gyms. Your TVs and you also got your towels here. Nice spa waiting room too, look at that. They also have a free weight room as well. Ab, workout stuff, medicine balls and all that good stuff. So yeah, a little quick tour of the fitness center. All right, JK Shitters, it is time for the almighty room review. We ended up getting a room here at the Golden Nugget best rate. So I got the cheapest rate you could go and it'll give you whatever they have available. I was just being super nice to the receptionist and I said, hey, is there any way you can give me something nice? And she gave me the second to top floor overlooking the Strat and the mountains and the strip. So I actually like the view here, but that windstorm last night, man, that wind was howling. Nice view, you can see the 15 freeway and the mountains. The air conditioning is super loud and the windows when the wind was blowing our way last night dude that was the loudest i've ever heard wind howl the room is actually pretty big and spacious they could have probably added another couple chairs where i have my luggage at right now they do have blackout curtains so you can roll that down it was kind of detached when i got here but i reattached it and was able to get it fixed what i do like is they give you four complimentary water bottles that is a plus, especially for a budget hotel like this. You have your metal ice bucket, they give you a bunch of cups, a tray, this nice round table here, and two golden leather chairs, nice little golden nuggets, Las Vegas homage frame over here with a big lamp right behind me. Now the bed was pretty firm, the pillows were good enough. I had trouble sleeping last night because of the wind. It wasn't because of the bed, the bed was comfortable enough. They do have two bed stands on both sides, two doors each. They have outlets and two switches on each side of the lamps. You got your old school telephone to call down and when I did call down to check out, I'll tell you a little bit later after this room tour what they said about a 12 o'clock checkout when checkout is 11 a.m. Another thing they provide you because we're so close to Fremont Street and probably because of the howling wind is they give you earplugs. They give you two sets of earplugs that you can use while you're sleeping. I used to do that in Barcelona because the elevator was right next to my room. I didn't really like sleeping with earplugs, but hey, I probably should have done it last night. The TV was big enough and they did have a few channels. You get four drawers here as well. They give you a bunch of information. You could actually order, mobile order food from up here with a QR code. They give you a trash can. Yeah, very spacious. This whole area right here, you have a lot of room to work with. This mini desk area is interesting. They do give you makeup, a mirror that you could flip on. Ooh, that's kind of creepy. The, the light is a little like goldenish. Brings you back to the 1800s and then you have this gold frame mirror, this desk uh, with a couple of outlets down there and, and a stool. So I put my laptop here. Did a little bit of work last night. The door has double locks, so that's good. You have the Vegas sign, the vertical Vegas sign that is on Fremont Street East across from Evil Pie as a decoration here. Really nice touch. You have your old school sliding mirrors. I actually have this in my own bedroom at home. You get eight wooden hangers, an uh, ironing board and iron, extra tissue box, and does the safe open? It is, it's actually open. So that's a good thing. The bathroom is small, not much space in here, but you do have one sink. They do give you a lot of countertop space for your toiletries, so that's a good thing on the left side. They give you lotion, shampoo, conditioner, all that good stuff and hand soap. Throne is low to the ground. All your towels are here, extra toilet paper, your old school white bathtub that you gotta step into, and then the shower. I haven't showered yet. I'm gonna shower after I get this video done, but uh, so I can't tell you the water pressure, but the water in the sink got pretty warm really quickly. And then the mirror, lights above it, and a light under the shower, and then a huge rectangular mirror that has gold tones and then a gold tone frame here. A couple of outlets here for your hair dryer. And the hair dryer, does it exist? Ooh, there might not be a hair dryer here. Wow, so I looked through all the drawers inside the closet. No hair dryer, unfortunately. Nothing here on the wall or in the bottom. You do have a tissue box. Wow, that's the first. I haven't seen a place that doesn't offer a hair dryer unless they just took it out of here. Here's the price breakdown. I stayed here from a Tuesday to Wednesday, which happened to be Fat Tuesday, but they don't really celebrate Mardi Gras that hardcore over here. They have a couple of things on the Viva Vision that show Mardi Gras masks and all that, but no bead throwing, no floats or anything like that. The room rate was about $46.67. You get a resort fee of 38 bucks, so that brings it to about 
80, 85 dollars when it's all said and done. They did give me a nice room, nice huge king bed room and very spacious. I liked it. The two things that I didn't like was when I did go to check in, I tried to check in around one-ish. They were trying to nickel and dime you $33 early check-in plus tax applicable. So I said, nah, forget that. I'm just gonna put my luggage at the baggage check, which I did for a couple of hours, filmed around, and then came back. I came back around 2.15 and I talked to the receptionist and I was just really nice about it. And she, she gave me check-in 45 minutes early at no charge. So that's a good thing, but the $33, that's another nickel and dime thing, right? And then when I called down to check out, because I always try to check out at 12 noon, I said, hey, can I have a 12 noon checkout, please? And she was like, yeah, sure. Um, it's gonna be $15 plus tax uh, and you have to get out right at 12. Like $15 plus tax, man, this isn't golden nugget. This is nickel and dime nugget. So I didn't like that. I'm already packed up. I haven't showered yet and I still got to film a few things. So there you go. That's the only thing I didn't like about it. And the wind howling, it was super loud. You got to put those uh, earbuds in. But the casino last night, after I streamed and walked in, it is hustling and bustling. The table games, the poker rooms. I was actually pretty surprised how many people were down in the casino around 11 o'clock at night last night. If you guys want to look for a place to stay here at Fremont Street would I say Golden Nugget is a good choice it's all right I mean you you got a nice pool that pool is really unique with the shark tank and the fish tank over there going down the slide they do have a nice spa here a couple of nice steakhouses yeah I would put this in the latter half of a top 10 Fremont Street hotel I still like the downtown grand more than this the plaza more than this I still haven't stayed at Circa so we're gonna have to do that would I stay at Golden Nugget again Maybe during the summer just so I could hang out at the pool. It was an okay stay. The nickel and diming kind of gave me the wrong impression here. That's my honest opinion on it. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Please consider subscribing. We're almost to 100,000 subscribers. Right now we're around 83. We're going to try to get there in the year 2023. Check out Las Vegas 777. Let's go. It's my Facebook page. We have about 2,000 Las Vegas lovers and vacationers talking about news, tricks, and tips about Las Vegas. Vegas. Appreciate you guys watching. If you have any suggestions on other hotels you want to see me do in the future, comment down below and we'll see you in the next video. And in the words of me, we're off to the Venetian. Stay traveling, Jake Let's go. Mm.